Hey guys, uh, so just about a year ago or so, I made my first major YouTube video, uh, which was in regards to building my sim racing PC. And uh, I've made some changes to that PC ever since. And I just wanted to share that with you guys, uh, kind of give you an idea of what is it that I have today and what I use uh, to race with. So uh, let's not waste too much time and let's take a look at it. Okay guys, so uh, let's start with the parts I had from the computer I put together last year from my original sim racing rig. And then we'll move on to the new parts that I've changed on it. So let's start out with the power supply. Uh, this is the Corsair IM750X, 750 watts of power, which is well enough for pretty much anything you need to do nowadays, you'll find out in a bit. Uh, but you have your standard plugs right over here, your main motherboard connector, your CPU as well, uh, along with your PCIe plug, uh, your SATA connectors are over here, and your Molex plugs, the old school ones, if you still need them. Uh, but uh, power supply has been working perfectly for over a year and no need to change it. So that's the power supply I'm going with. So as far as RAM goes, memory, I have the Corsair Vengeance RGB 32 gigs DDR4 3200 megahertz, which is well enough for what I use. You take a better close look to it if you haven't seen my last year's video. Uh, it's been doing just fine. 32 gigs of RAM is enough for anything that you do today, so no need to do do anything crazier than that. Okay, so talking storage, uh, I do have the Samsung's um, 970 EVO NVMe M2 drive. Uh, it's, this is a monster of a drive. I've had it for over a year and one terabyte is enough storage for me for my primary drive. I tend to keep the um, one games that I use the most on this primary drive and then what I do is that I have a secondary drive which is right over here, uh, which is a Samsung, it's a standard SSD. Uh, it's the 860 version of it, which is perfectly fine. And the one uh, games that I don't play as much, I tend to install it on this. And the ones I use most of the time, I leave it on my 970 EVO right here. Enough storage for pretty much anything I need today. So I'm keeping the same. So last but not least of my old parts, uh, this is the cooler I had gone with last year. It's the NZXT Kraken X62 cooler. Uh, has done a tremendous job ever since I've gotten. It keeps my uh, CPU temperatures really, really low and there was no reason for me to change it. So uh, I definitely recommend it. I believe they have now the X63 uh, and they also have a Z63, which um, instead of having just your standard um, LED look here, you can actually have a display, an LCD display and upload pictures to it and do all kinds of nice things to it. But uh, it's quite expensive. So I decided to keep this one over here for uh, my previous build. All right, guys, so let's talk uh, CPU. So uh, the past few years, um, AMD has been really stepping up their game. Uh, when it comes to their processors and they've always been pretty good um, always a step behind Intel in that sense uh, but past generation or two they have been really catching up to Intel and their latest uh, versions of these processors the 5000 series are no exception and they've absolutely obliterated Intel's numbers with their newer processors so I decided to go ahead and move over to the AMD side of things and uh, this is the one I decided to go with this is the AMD Ryzen 5800X make sure the camera can catch that in there uh, but this thing is an absolute beast uh, it's got 8 core 16 threads you got 36 megabytes of cache unlocked CPU you got a max boost clock of 4.7 that's you could actually go higher than that if you wanted to and it's got 3.8 base speed um, it's just a monster of a processor. The only thing that's really missing from it, and it's not really, I would say, a con, uh, is that you need to have a graphics card to go along with it. My i7-9700 had a Intel graphics built into the processor, not that I even care for using it, but uh, that's the only con I would say that you would need to have a graphics card to go along with this. Um, anybody getting something like this would most likely get a graphics card to go with it. So, uh, absolute monster of a processor, definitely recommend this. Okay, so talking about the motherboard, uh, since I made the switch over from Intel over to the AMD side of things, uh, the previous motherboard no longer works, even though it's on a great motherboard, the ROG Strix Z390. Uh, but that didn't mean that I had to move away too much from it. And I decided to go with this guy right over here, which is similar enough. Uh, it's an ROG Strix, the B550, uh, which works absolutely great with the AMD processor. 
Uh, on AMD side of things, you have a choice of uh, two different chipsets. You have the X570 and the B550. Uh, some differences on it on the PCI Express uh, lanes you have on the X70 for the most motherboards actually have them all at 4.0. We're on the B550 chipset, only your top one, your graphics card uh, is the one that would get that 4.0 all the lanes if you have something strong enough to push all those lanes. And sort of very far from the original one I had, I absolutely love that uh, motherboard and I decided to keep things uh, similar enough. Okay guys, so let's talk about graphics cards. So on my original build, I had used an EVGA uh, RTX 2070, which is a great card for that build. I absolutely loved it, had no problem at all. Uh, but recently I updated my display and you can see right over here, I have the Samsung Odyssey G9. Uh, I had made a review on it recently. I'll put a link over here so you guys can take a look at it if you haven't. Uh, and I needed something to be able to drive that insane display I have back there. It's got 5120 by 1440 resolution, <laughs> go up to 240 uh, refresh rate. So the only thing that came to mind that could possibly push that to the max is the RTX 390 from NVIDIA just nearly released. Um, this is about as insane as it gets on a graphics card. Uh, it is a tank. I'm not kidding, the graphics card, I'll show you guys a couple of pictures on a video soon. Uh, it almost does not even fit in my case. It's crazy big, it's got three PCI slots, uh, it needs its own, uh, two rails from the power supply uh, into the graphics card. And that's one of the reasons why I said whether that 750 watt power supply, I still kept on it is enough and it sure is, I have no problems at all, 750 power supply and this monster of a graphics card so all right so let's cue in the fancy cool camera movement sort of panning video with the nice relaxing music on the background 